Hello, welcome to a new tutorial presented by the SA Charles Rebe. In this tutorial, we are going to start with the introduction to the echography machine. So, this is the echography machine here, and we are on the parameter of the probe. So, on this parameter of the probe, you will first start by choosing a different one. A, B, D is for the abdomen. We have gynecology, we have obsession gynecology, we have urology, and this is the second probe. Generally, you need to know that there are different probes that are used in ultrasound. This is the curvy, this is the curve, the, the, um, the curve probe, and this is the probe that is used for um, anal or intracavitary probe, basically. So those are the different ones. So this is the curve probe and this is the intracavitary probe. Now, intercavitary probe can be either placed in the vagina where it's going to be used for obstetrics and or the prostate in the anus where it's used for, for prostate in urology. Now, these are the different elements of the probe. So here is the, element, the parameters to enter. When you want to enter the information of the patient, you click here. So this, when you click there, you enter into the parameters of the patient. And when you enter the parameters of the patient, you have other elements like the body mark that you can put, you have the probe, you have the ABC, if you want to start writing on the imaging as such. When I'm on this image, let's say that I freeze. And then lastly, I want to write. So this is where I can write here. So you can write the different elements you want, which you are ABCD. Now, the next element is the quad, the dual. If you want to multiply the image into four, you use a quad, as you can see here. And if you, multi you can multiply the image into two by using the dual, basically. So those are the different elements. And this is the M mode and the B mode. So we're going to, this is the caliper. This is how to set, to go backward, to freeze, to save, and to print. And lastly, this is the time gain compensation. Is it clear? Generally, this is the um, the mode to place the time gain compensation by doing what? You have to reduce the time gain compensation because upward, you don't want to visualize the structure too much. Is it clear? But down, you want to visualize the structure at its detail. That's why you reduce the time gain compensation superficially and going downward, you increase the time gain compensation so that you can visualize more deeper structures than superficial structures. But when you want to visualize more superficial structures than the deep structures, you are going to inverse the time gain compensation such that it produces a diagonal instead in this direction. But here, you are going to visualize much more structures which are deep. So that's why we are going to use this standard time gain compensation. So from here we say thanks for your kind attention and let's continue with the next part. Thank you.